been because Dewan beat Zack in Roots of Lake Heaven. Oh, or vice versa. Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe Dewan might run out of steam. Very nice punish there, though. It'd be pretty bad if he ran out of steam because he hasn't really done shit all day. True. <laughs> that, oh. uh, I would have loved to see a tip up smash, smash right there. Yeah. On the top platform, I th it's it looks like dead. a kill, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Really good uh, reacting and getting a good punch even though it wasn't a double dip. Oh, that's right. The last time they oh. played, didn't Kevin go sheep? And beat him in the dead. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that. I know Kevin won. That's really funny. I, I saw Kevin play some Sheik against Swedish Delight before, and he yeah. won a game. That is actually hilarious. I, I didn't know that. I would have shit talked a lot about it if I knew that. Okay, so we got our first prediction. No reset incoming. It's gonna be a three-one give you first set. I'm feeling Dewan's gonna win the first set, then get slaughtered the second set. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I feel like Dewan has some good momentum, right? He. He had two pretty convincing wins, and it's all, he's also starting off pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a mashup where it really sucks when you don't combo them into a kill, but more like, you know, 130 or whatever. Definitely. I feel like that's true about a lot of Marth's matchups, but like, really true about this. It's like, Marth has a really hard time pushing in the neutral in this matchup. He has a good neutral, but like, it's hard to force things, and if you overextend, you just get wrecked. And like, Sheik only really needs one strong movement read to to really open up Marth. Oh, surprised he air dodged there. Oh my god, he got handcocked. I don't think I've ever seen that kill in this matchup. Top platform, 200. Right, it kills like two. It kills like 214 on FD. Okay. I don't think the crew is gonna have it. It doesn't seem like people are down. Uh, but I'm still down to ask after this is done. Oh, that was tricky. I like that he spot dodged there. Uh, Downer has a pretty significant amount of shield stun, so better to just avoid it altogether. I don't really like how you responded to the to the side beats on his shield though. If I'm getting side beat and I'm shielding already, you just keep shielding. Yeah, you it can depends shield on the spacing, but yeah, well, if the, you can't shield grab. The blue one should put them in inside of your shield. And if if they don't finish it, it has enough lag to where you can shield grab it. And you can actually shield grab the red one in between the little... Right, right. That, yeah. That's what I, I like to try to do. Yeah. I'm just... And if they're not spaced well, then you can just hold down and spam the grab yeah, exactly, button and it'll exactly. work no matter what. Okay. So, I feel like what this set is probably going to come down to is if Dewan can ledge guard Kevin. It seems Agreed. like... And he's been doing a really well, really good job at it. Generally, when Kevin wins, Dewan gets pretty flustered ledge guarding him. For one thing, uh, PBU is really good at smash dying needles, so it makes that ledge guarding option a lot less effective. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, kind of like baited out the air dodge with his movement, and then uh, gets the best punish possible with the nair. Again. Nice uh, forward smash. PPU also a really good user of down smash, so you might see that yeah, in yeah, guard yeah. situations as well. Cool. Is that gonna be it? Oh, that was okay. Nice. How's he finish it? Oh, you definitely could have gotten that grab after the nair, but gets it anyway. Game. First game down. All right. So I wouldn't read too much into Dewan coming out strong out the gate. Uh, the loser's losers bracket player winning the first set is like super common. You, last night, I won the first set and then got 3-0'd the next set. It just, it happens a lot where the person from losers is feeling themselves and the person from winners needs to regain their rhythm because they've kind of been like, you know, chilling, not warming up. PBU was not warming up. He was sitting right next to us. I actually, uh... I've never had that happen to me. Yeah? Yeah. Happens to me all the time. I either I either win it in winners or like literally get 6-0. <laughs> so. so you think this is the best Marth counter pick? It yes. seems to be the most common one. Yeah. Uh I just think that I don't know, taking platforms away from Sheik really limits her movement options. Marth beats her in the neutral. Um the only thing that this really can kind of help with in Sheik is that it's the punish, right? Like you can't you take away the platform, 
Oh! Wow! Attacks. That wave dash, uh, wave dash off shield breaker was crazy. Okay, good, good grab there. Kevin really likes to run through, but forty percent, forty-four percent off one grab, and a grab that he got because he was invincible. Mm -hmm. So that's like really frustrating when you play somebody who just hits you whenever they're invincible. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels like a really big disadvantage. Wow, he just comes down and grabs him. I in our team set against you all. You were really good at like pinning me down when you were invincible. Oh, yeah? I kind of just had to run. And it's very difficult trying to get away from invincible people as Peach because you're really, really slow. Oh. I think that uh, up the Phantom then. He's gonna get killed for that. Jeez. Maybe it was weak and got crouch canceled. I'm not sure, but it looked like it Phantom to me. Thought it only did like 2% or something. Duan oh. tells me that his philosophy uh, in terms of invincibility is that you want to. You, as the person who has invincibility, you want to put them in the in the worst possible position. Even if you don't get a hit on them, you want them to be in a shitty position after your invincibility has ended, so that you can do something better with it. And you, as the non-invincible person, want to avoid nice. that situation as much as possible. So if, if you're the non-invincible person, what you really want to do ideally, and Duan would say this too, oh nice, is uh, you want to bait them to swing right as your invincibil their invincibility is ending, so that then they've committed to what will be a bad position after they whiff. Correct. And uh, I notice I get punished by that a lot against Tawan. I'm very bad at uh, implementing that philosophy we just <laughs> discussed. So, okay. It seems like PBU is actually getting a lot off his juggles. Definitely. And uh, Shroom has missed two out of his three uh, extensions where he tried to dash attack or boost grab. Yeah. So, okay, nice. Uh, wave dashing off and back airing with or without a double jump is like pretty good ledge guarding tool against Marth with every character, I would say. Oh, that was a very um, quick grab. So in those situations, right, Kevin did the did the, the optimal DI. You do a slight DI out from Sheik. You don't do a hard DI. If you do a hard DI out, Sheik's down throw as Marth, you get re -grabbed, Right? You get re up until I believe it's oh, like somewhere right, between 30 or 50%. Um, and then after that, you just start getting dash attack. So he did what was correct, which is the optimal. Oh, dash attack. Slightly, slightly outwards, um, and then the wanted punch the punish for Sheik right there is to just do an up tilt and get a meaty combo after that. But I don't know, Kevin's kind of bleeding at this point, really high percents. Yeah, it's like he's gonna need a miracle to, to make this happen. Yeah, pretty much. Like, even if he win gets a sock, for Marth to be able to win this. It's going to require like a ridiculous punish, like a terrible DI from Dewan. Yeah. Okay, and that's easy. Um, you can pretty much do whatever aerial you want after that. Air, fair, up air should all work. I'm surprised Dewan went for an air right there instead of an up air, but... Yeah, me too. Uh, gets the job done. Okay, so PBU, uh, a strong proponent of Stadium in general, mm -hmm. doesn't neutral start, gets hit, but looks like it's going to end up favoring him in the end. <laughs> I definitely think that... um. There are two types of marts. Your FD marts and your stadium marts. And Kevin's a Kevin's definitely a stadium mart. I don't I don't like this up beat. I would even say for me I usually think of it as like FD or Yoshi's, but I guess that's like a whole other thing. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like the ones who are bad at chain grabbing usually just like Yoshi's because it gives them uh, easy platform kills. Yeah. But definitely. this is kinda like the hybrid between those two stages. You have the easy platform kills, but you also have the FD like dash dance. Yeah. The lack of the top platform really opened up all those jungles to him. Yeah, I guess the top platform is just actually better for Sheik than Marth, huh? Definitely. Most definitely. Neither neither character really has a lot of priority beneath them. But Ooh. Sheik isn't she can really punish Marth when she's when he's directly above her, but that's not her game plan, right? Like she comes at these really weird angles. I that think... don't necessarily have to be right from underneath him. Dewan's approaches from like pretty far away are definitely working enough so that I expect him to be doing better than he is. Because I think if you hit even one and two, like boost grabs from halfway across the stage, that's it's worth going for it. And uh, he's been hitting about two out of three. Okay. Can he get a kill? Yeah. Nice, yeah. At that percent if you GIN, do you still get up smash? Yes. Oh my god, that... No no. You get uh up air. Up air. Okay. So it's like it's definitely a pick your poison. Sometimes I feel like after Sheik needles me, I can just grab her, but I'm I'm really not sure if that's real. I saw people do it once earlier. Oh, like when she does the charge needles. Mm -hmm. This is a huge punish. Even though he didn't get the tipper, this has basically just been one ledge guard. 
Oh wow! God. Did you think that was gonna happen? Not at all. Yeah, okay, me neither. I love like the the forward smashes that hit you like completely off stage, or like hit ha pretty much his whole body is off stage. Yeah, that that one. The that was like a really. No, I just the forward smash. I'm still thinking about it. Was, he was super far off, like out of the with the teeter. Oh. There we go. Yeah, Crouch Castle really wrecks that side B. Um, definitely, definitely. It's a sad time for Ken. Oh. It looks like PB messed up his uh, platform approach there. I doubt he wanted to just run up and do nothing. Still, it looks like Stadium worked well. You were right. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of admirable that Kevin tries to be an FD Marth, but I think empirically I, I, there's not I that love, much. I feel like what he got, his, the mileage he got from this stage was really the juggles, but he could have done that on FD, so what? Yeah, that's true. I'm thinking maybe it's the side platforms that give him a, a, just a different attack angle. Oh, and Dewan picks Yoshi's. This is a second this is time. very interesting. Both Binion and Dewan picked uh, Yoshi's against PBU, so. How did it go in Binion's case? Uh, they played two games there. The one game was like last hit, and the other one was a three sock. It's really nice that if uh, you read that Marth is going to up B early as Sheik, you can roll up on the stage and then end up still getting the grab after the roll. Yeah. Um, the grab is just about as good a punish as you can get on Marth, like pretty much regardless of where you get it. Oh, that jab in between is very nice. So I like how Dewan started to use down tilt more this game. It's, mm -hmm. it's not something that Marth can't counter, but... Uh, Definitely, run up crouch is pretty strong as Marth. And if you happen to catch him with the down tilt, like mid percent, it could lead him to a kill via up air. Oh, man. We Marth is really, really good at responding to a uh, to uh, tournament oh. winners. Okay, is he gonna get anything out of this? They both had pretty great DI for not uh, getting comboed necessarily, though. Kevin has done a pretty good job still picking up on Dewan's good DI. Ooh. I bet you can crouch cancel and down smash between the two hits of Nair. You can. You yeah. Can. I've actually done it before. I think he was trying to do that. It looked like, I, I think I saw the startup. But Kevin but. tends to do, he, Kevin tends to respond to that really well by just doing a fadeaway back uh, Nair. Yeah. Kevin is definitely a Marth that I don't feel like I ever really get to punish him getting up from the ledge. Yeah, no, not Despite at all. Despite Marth having bad ledge options on paper, uh, PB doesn't seem to let that phase him at all. So, um, PB is coming from winners. Yeah, so... And, uh, PB has not gone Sheik yet. It's been uh, a Marth-Sheik affair this entire time. Yeah, I, I don't really see that happening, but... Who knows? Okay, just gets four up airs in a row there. Close that out. Nice and easy. Aw, uh, really nice stealing of the ledge, but doesn't manage to get any punish. Ooh. Man, I've noticed Sheik players are kind of bad at smash yang jab resets. Uh, if you watch like Wizrobe and Nun, they always get jab reset to Neon Sheiks, and it's definitely not harder with her than with like a lot of other characters. Oh my oh. god. I really like how Kevin has been willing to give up the stage, knowing that he's a good player off the ledge. Uh, he just retreats. I'm actually really mad at what Tope just said in the chat. <laughs> oh, yeah? About <laughs> the, the polar, polar bear. bear story. <laughs> it's a good story. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, okay. Ooh, Dude, nice. Kevin, all day he's been saying yes after he gets killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's like positive reassurance to yourself. Like, <laughs> constantly telling yourself you got this. Dewan kind of just. Oh, oh. I would do it if my opponent wasn't wearing headphones to try to make them annoyed, but yeah. if my opponent was wearing headphones, I don't think I'd do it. Ah, S Fat in the chat. Zach wishing he was here to take these guys' money. Yeah, I uh, was trying to get him to come, but he's a busy boy. Had that six set at Power 9 this week. So we got a bracket reset. Dewan takes the first set, 3 1. Hey, ball back. It's so like we said, Dewan got the reset. Let's let's see if he gets decimated now, like we kind of predicted before. So they're just going straight into the next set on uh, Battlefield. Yeah. This is no the first game. What? Uh oh, oh, uh oh. Okay. 
Kevin bumps his head on the on the bottom of the stage. Hopefully there won't be any tilt. I know these guys are both like fairly good in terms of mental fortitude, but not like flawless. Yeah, correct, correct. They, they definitely have their their bad moments where they get a little flustered. Oh, I think uh, Dewan was talking about that when um when Kevin was playing Austin and Kevin right, was doing right. the same similar pun uh, pressure on Austin's shield. Dewan was saying like you can't just like sh sit and shield. And that was a very great wave dash back. Yeah, he was I saying that the first one, right, the first fair is safe, depending on spacing. Um, but you have to set up the rest. During that setup, you have time as far as getting pressure to respond to it. Yeah, I, I was literally going to comment on the same thing. Uh, and Dewan, unlike Austin, didn't just sit there and take it. Yeah. And, you know, on top of, like, coming out and challenging, if you're not Peach, you can also just wave dash back to the ledge and then, like, take your second reset. That's also true. Let your uh, shield restore a little. Uh, but... Yeah, definitely Azusa got corner pressured in a way that I don't think either of these players are willing to let themselves get subjected to. Yeah, definitely. Um, wow. no, so when we mentioned s switching to Sheik, yeah, the last time these guys played, or it might have been a time before last, um, Kevin actually switched to Sheik and, and ended up beating Dewan in the ditto. Oh, no. Ah, and he gets a, he bumps that again. yet again. And Shroomro is looking really bad off the ledge. He, uh... He did a terrible ledge dash, mm -hmm. or tilt into a tournament winner. It really looked like that might have been PB's moment to bring it back. Oh, wow. Dude, Kevin is really good at uh, converting platform shield pressure into kills, even Definitely. in the shield drop era. It doesn't feel like shield dropping has really helped that much against him. Okay. Oh, what? Thought he might go go for the coup de gras there, but playing it a little bit safer. Oh, okay. well, that was a very nice nair. Uh, Dewan misses the pivot grab. Huh? Interesting up air. Maybe he was trying to go for a fair. I'd like to see Dewan uh, not fair from the platform for a while. He it worked a few times last set, but I think after you do that, I don't know, five times, people like aren't going to get hit by it anymore. It's mm -hmm. just like, if anything, you need to like fair and then do another thing after that to try to catch them coming back in or whatever. Okay, that'll do it. That is Alan as my co-commentator. So we got me. What's up, y'all? OG Poppin' Fresh himself. You can with, follow him on Twitter. With red hair. <laughs> it's like blondish. Is it rare? Okay, it looks it's like, like pretty red orange blonde. to me. But. Okay, uh, a lot of orange. so Dewan didn't run off and hit Kevin at the beginning this time. Last time he ended up eating percent for that, even though he landed the hit. Oh, no jump. No jump. Oh. If this was okay. teams, he would scream, no jump. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually, like, kind of sick of people saying that, because most of the time they say it, I and already it know. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, dude, like, Sometimes I understand the situation. Scream, like, no jump, but, like, the other person's all the way across the stage, like, what does it fucking matter? <laughs> Yeah, obviously sometimes it's helpful, but yeah, a lot of the times it's like, dude, I know. <laughs> okay. I don't... So, I don't even know who Dr. Malikins is. I don't either. Uh, How would I be your best man if I don't know you? I'm down, though. Oh, wow. That's really funny that power shielding the needles ends up hitting him on the platform. <laughs> that. Gonna finish this. Nice. Oh. I feel like... Whenever I go for that Waveland uh, grab against top players, it doesn't work. Oh my oh, god. Someone died. <laughs> yeah, it looked to me like he grabbed the ledge too. Same. I would have thought with port priority especially, he would have gotten that, but I guess not. Okay. Smart to Nair instead of Fair, because he can uh, land the Nair behind. Yeah, Nair with the really fast start really lets you position yourself to hit their landing lag Definitely. however you want. And I bet you can even do it a little bit lower because she kind of like pulls up her legs a little bit as on the startup. Mm -hmm. That's speculation, but it sounds right. Very nice down tilt usage. This is the stage that Kevin won a game on last set, <laughs> right? Yeah, it, it is. And Dewan's doing a little bit better this time, but I feel like this game, Dewan seems really like hungry to get the hits. Yeah. Uh, but after that SD, it felt like he's trying to go like full aggro. And you know, sometimes that's how it is, right? You SD very early on in the set, and you feel like you got to play catch up the entire time. 
especially against people who are more willing to um, kind of bait a lot of things out with their movement or who are just flat out camping you. Against Marth as Sheik though, it feels like wanting to hit him too bad is like the easiest way to lose. Agreed. Like that's kind of how Marth wins by using better be ground movement. Oh. Those jabs on shield really haven't been working for almost anyone on the stream today. Uh, yeah, again, it was yeah. punished. Uh, a little bit of a antiquated strategy, but I guess sometimes you do feel pressure to throw it out, right? You're like, oh crap, he's right there, he's shielding, I need to like hit him, or else I'm gonna get grabbed or swatted or whatever. I don't, I don't like that dare. A lot of Sheik's do it, and it's just so... Did he do, like, the descending dare as he was trying to yeah. come down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Dewan is actually pretty bad about that. He, he does is. it He does it a lot more than other good players. Okay, I like that, that he uh, retreated to the corner instead of trying to come down with, like, a move from the windmill. Mm -hmm. I think that was a situation where people would have felt desperate often and, like, tried to come down with the move. That, that was a situation I think it was pretty hard for Dewan to get the ledge guard. Uh, Definitely. I, I kind of like, see, now that he's losing, it feels like he slowed it down because he just like really doesn't want to get hit himself. Yeah. Um, oh. But it might be too little too late at this point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Very jab, nice confirm. Jab will lead to a lot for Sheik in general unless you ASCI down. Um, really want to watch out for that at high percents. It's like, it's definitely worth like specifically dedicating mental effort to not getting jab comboed because you get a grab when she jabs you if you're ready. Yeah. I'll do it at the percent where Marth can just stand up and do a move like lots of other characters can. Kevin takes a quick water break. Yeah, I like to take a break after it resets. Um, and they went into it really fast, so I'm glad to see that one of them wants at least a breather right now. I think it's about time. Been pretty intense. You're looking pretty Asian in that camera there. <laughs> I look like Rock Squinty from Pokemon. Eyes. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Ryan, they're, yeah, okay. So, again, Shroom picking Yoshi's. Versus. I wonder why. Maybe we'll we'll have a quick chat after the set. Figure out I why. hear that uh, the Kevin won on Dreamland twice as Sheik, and oh. it was on Dreamland, so maybe that's why. So he's trying to avoid Dreamland. Yeah. That but makes sense. Minion also didn't pick Dreamland, so maybe it's a Sheik thing that I don't understand. Oh, that ledge cancel actually messing up Dewan right there. Um, yeah. Oh, very nice recovery. Do you like the down smash over a grab right there? Yes. Because, um... Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm still down, but it doesn't look like it is. Sorry, people asking about our crew battle. Oh. Nice recovery. I don't- I can never figure out how to get that. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like the meta is just roll if you think they're going to do that one. Okay. Nice ledge guard. Dewan not going for that same recovery twice. And I don't blame him. Uh, don't, as Sheik, the only way to recover is to be unpredictable with Pretty it. Pretty much. Oh. Might have been able to go for the short hop backwards and jump over the upbeat, then grab it after the end of the hitbox. That's what there. I was thinking, but I don't see many sheiks land that. That's usually like a you know a fast faller thing. Yeah, Binion did it earlier. That's why it's fresh in my mind. Oh, nice. Very Again, nice. The wave dash off and do back air with or without a double jump. I would like to really see good. him mix in some Marth killers, because I think it keeps them very honest in terms of uh, their sweet spot angles. Yeah. Kevin definitely really good against Marth Killer though. Uh, yeah, he really is. Oh, Ooh. uses the chain. Oh, oh, oh. smart, very oh. smart. <laughs> so you think that was all calculated? No. Okay. I think once he got the grab on Randall, he knew not to throw him. Oh wow, I'm really surprised that dash tag worked. Do you think it chill poked him? Uh, I think it might have caught him dashing away. Oh wow, what an air dodge. Oh, and the descending dare works out that time. Gets him a lot. Really surprised that I haven't seen people be able to shield poke uh, PBU on the platform. You can see Mars' feet sticking out so much. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, she's her hitboxes are huge, but I feel like you should be able to do it. I think Spark does it to me a lot. 
Kevin taking his time. Oh. But that down tilt, yet again. It even looked like he DI'd the the down tilt well, but he still could like slide off the platform or attack. So that's the second time that that's happened, oh. where um, Kevin has done the up B and then Dewan catches him with the the get up attack off of the ledge and then reads the the DI. Yeah, he. Uh, he I actually like, feel like if Kevin DI'd it away, it would not work. Yeah, I don't think so either. Like, I felt like that the get up attack was a really bad idea that you were talking about, but it ended up working out. Yeah. yeah. He didn't go for the dare there, but it didn't matter. So just gets juggled into a kill. Yeah. So th this could be the most uh, pivotal sock in the tournament. Like uh, said. Definitely, definitely. Oh, Dewan really wanted to get out of the corner there. Yeah, mm. see, he's just getting punished. Okay, okay. Kevin getting the shy guys out of the way. Smart. Two pummels. You can definitely mash out if they're pummeling twice. I and definitely I think uh, an up tilt or an up smash would have been the better choice than that. that oh, tilt. catches him with the jabs. That never works when I try it against Kevin. <laughs> I guess she has a better jab. Oh, wow. Coming down with the Waveland Fair. Dwan, oh, I felt like he just needs to not approach. Uh, and Dwan, he caught him with a, uh, with a side off back air to Fair. Nice. I felt like... It was obvious that Dewan wanted to hit him so bad there. I thought he was going to end up overcommitting. You can definitely tell that. You can you can read Dewan's thirst a lot of the time. Yes. The yes, thing is, yes. even if you know he wants to swing, it can be hard to punish him for swinging. I agree. He's like, you know, just pretty clean moving in general, right? Dewan like doesn't have that much lag in his movement. Not not as good as Plum in that regard, but still very very good. So the last time they played on this. This ma uh, stage, Dewan won pretty handily, actually. So, but it, but last time they also played on the stage, it was Dewan who started off strong. Yeah, it that was game two of the first set. Yeah, and it didn't seem like Kevin was really in his rhythm yet. Yeah. Uh, so let's see what occurs here. Yeah, Kevin has already went to the stadium. I would have liked to see Kevin run past and then up the other way on that uh, punish. I, I'm. 99% sure that would work. Mm. There oh. you go, the the down smash you were talking about. Yeah. Doesn't get him a kill, and here's what we were talking with the, the Marth right is kicking in, where even though he got Dewan such a high percent so fast, it's an even game right now. Okay, well, there we go. Oh. Hey, Marth, one of the. Oh, once again, like, that's literally happened three times in a row. And I'm really surprised Kevin isn't just going, either taking him place or going all the way to the, to the wow, center of the stage. Wow, the needle. Yeah, I would have expected him to go to center too, but maybe that's why he did. Okay, you know, it's funny, Dewan the one taking a really deep breath after that stock. Uh, I would have, usually, you know, the one who looks like he's trying to center himself is the one who just died. Mm -hmm. I like that, Dewan waiting for the for the fair. Typically, once you um. once you dash attack Martha away. They go for that fair to kind of stop your movement, stop whatever you have next. It feels like Kevin is playing a little bit better using the stage in terms of, like, just playing more footsies. Mm -hmm. But it feels like he's not getting the punishes, like the juggles that he probably needs to. It's It actually, to me, feels like Dewan is just fighting his way out. Oh, oh that's so very deep. nice. Kevin likes to go so low with his recovery. He does, I, definitely. Like, Oftentimes tricking you into thinking that he actually has no jump when he clearly does. You have to be careful with being too telegraphed going down there, though, because he's also really ready to just, like, instant up B or double jump yeah. up B a lot of the time. And I'll do it. Wow. Kevin kind of has to make a miracle in order to win this. Yeah, yeah this, this could be the tournament. Yeah. Kevin on tournament stock right now. Very oh, I like nice that. Punish. Yeah, he, he does it because the grab would give him his jump back, right? Yes. But he didn't land, so he kept him up there a little longer. I would have loved to see him for, for him to go for it again instead of that dare. Okay. I'm always impressed with Mars who are able to just space the tipper out of a wave dash. Same. Wave dash is like a variable length input. So, yeah, it can't be that easy. Oh, I'm surprised Kevin uh, didn't get off of that jab. It's crazy. Oh, not managing to crouch cancel or shield that get up attack. Pretty surprising. Okay. 
Hey, let's see. Dewan needs to take, <laughs> not rush it. Oh uh, yeah, you can't shield grab needles. They uh, auto cancel on landing. So. Yeah. As long as you throw enough, I think it's three or more. It's on their shield, and you throw them close enough to the ground, you'll always be okay. That was a very hopeful edge guard, but he has a sock to play around with, so why not? You know. Okay, gets the uh, pivot tipper. I felt like it might have, or sorry, not tipper. I felt like it might have tippered if he didn't. Same. Pivot. <laughs> Expecting to want to DI further away. I actually think that's really strong. Uh, just coming down from with a needle from okay. Shieldstone, and that's gonna be it. And we said it would probably come down to Dewan ledge 